How y'all doing? Thanks for stopping by and tuning in, as always. So, as you all see on your screen in front of you, uh, how can I put this? In D.L. Hughley's famous segment on his radio show, the Shoe Booty of the Week Award goes to Sir Trevor Jacob. I have no clue who this guy is, who this gentleman is, but he popped up in my feed. Uh, thanks to Brother Mike Ojo, doing it, who I'm sub to. Um, I'm not sub to Trevor Jacob, but um, he yesterday did a reaction video to his his so-called engine failure or whatever. Uh, he got tagged in and I figured, well, I'll tag myself as the Michael Carter show because as is, there's other aviator pilots, real life pilots or sim pilots in the particular aviation community aviation community here on youtube are all doing videos on them so it's only right that i do one so i'm see i'm sure that you know again because it's been viewed throughout the world it's already gone viral so but i'll get the rest of my spiel afterwards because this is two this is only 13 minutes on so let me go ahead and queue it up go for me
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get me out of this. Get the f off of me. Come on. Ah. Come on, you I guess I should probably document what's going on. I cut my finger pretty bad, got my elbow. I'm just so happy to be alive. I'm just kind of taking in what just happened. Well, where the hell am I gonna land a freaking plane? I'm gonna die. That's why I always freaking fly with a parachute. No phone service. I'm climbing literally through the gnarliest freaking bushes. I got so much poison oak and freaking cuts everywhere. Ah, ow. Ow, 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 ow. I've called for help multiple times. I don't have any service. And by the way, that myth that 911 works when you don't have phone service is total BS. It's so hot out here. I'm freaking, I need water so bad. Oh, I spot the plane. I see it down there. Oh my God. Ow. nothing no anything no water i had a water jug in the back oh my gosh dude i have no idea where i am oh, i don't even know man thank you god thank you universe thank you higher power for watching over me I'm gonna start walking out of here. Oh, another hour's gone by. I'm down in this ravine. This is so freaking gnarly. Oh, ow! Ow! Please don't cliff out. Pretty creepy, not creepy, but I feel like a mountain lion or a bear could definitely be watching me right now. I am in the middle of nature. This is where the ravine ends in a cliff. <clears throat> I am officially cliffed out and uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna try to hike around, try to get on top of that and get some phone service. About another hour has gone by. I was trying to follow this riverbed. Getting closer, I think. I don't know, I still don't have phone service. I'm trying to call a heli out of here. I have no idea how I'm gonna get out of here. But I'm here. It's about an hour later. I am exhausted. I'm so thirsty. I'm scared. I'm in trouble. I'm cut all over the place. The only option I have is crawling through these bushes like I have been for the last five hours. And uh, I'm in pain, man. I'm hurting. Whatever I'm going through, I wish upon nobody. I see the ravine down there that I'm trying to get to but I am still surrounded by bushes. Oh, oh 
shit. This is so steep. Way steeper than it looks. Oh. Oh. I'm trying not to lose faith, man. I'm hurting. I'm just trying to keep moving. The sun's going down. I've been walking for about another 45 minutes now down the riverbed. Uh, there's no phone service or else I would be calling somebody trying to keep my spirits high. Another hour's gone by walking down the riverbed. It's getting dark. I'm just trying to get out of here. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but you can hear a cow. I can hear a cow. I literally just went onto my knees. Hear that? I was giving up. I literally was just, I just collapsed and got to my knees on the ground. Just as I gave up hope, I heard the cow. So I'm continuing to walk. I'm walking, continuing to walk towards the cow. I still have no idea where I am. All right. It's officially getting dark and uh, I'm so past the point of even saying I'm exhausted, but I saw a cow and that was cool. Yes, yes, I see water. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, I don't even care if it's mud. There's fish in here. Tadpoles. Oh my gosh. It's never felt so good to see and taste water. Gotta keep moving. It's pitch black dark now. A car, a car. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hey. How you doing? Oh my gosh. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Hi. How you doing, man? I had an engine out in the, in the mountains and uh, there was nowhere to land. I always fly with a parachute and I'm like, I can either jump right now or, or take the chance of landing this thing and I'm f***ed out, I'm out. And then as soon as I open the canopy and the, I'm under parachute, the plane came back around and oh, almost f***ing hit me. You have no uh, idea how far back we are. You I'm have really, no clue. Yeah. I'm good. That was the gnarliest day of my life. Where were you? At? Holy yeah. shit. I'm, I, I probably have been walking six, seven, eight miles already. Yeah, so. Just like in the river. I was I was probably five miles up in the hills. I almost yeah, fell no off a cliff. Yeah. I literally was just like, I, I saw fresh tracks on the car. And I'm like, I'm going to just get to that river. And, and then I saw water. I started crying. All right, enough. So I don't even know where to start, but... Uh, the internet is definitely, most definitely, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I mean, this guy was a few fries short of a happy man, the whole thing, but it's just facts. Um, is that something that I will ever do in the foreseeable for future, first and foremost? The answer to that is hell no. So, but, um... You all wondering was this real or was this the stage fake? The answer to that was to that to that is it is all fake. It's all stage. And for what Brother Mike Odell was saying too, um, you can just tell because the way that plane was still floating in the air with the propeller still going and not losing any airspeed and just floating like that, like a glider or something. Yeah, I mean, this guy obviously did this for views. This was clickbait. And that's why, like I said, it's going viral as is. 
and for him to turn off his comments in his comment section. I guess that's the old world by comments. Well, what difference does it make? You thought this on yourself, dude, sir. Um, to still do the video and for it to go viral and to get so many likes off of it. But uh, I'm not even subscribed to this guy. Like I said, I don't know who he is. He came up in my feed through my dojo. And, um, this is just common sense, folks. Uh, you can all see that <coughs> the plane is, <coughs> excuse me, the plane is no more uh, total. Uh, when it went down with his cameras that were attached to the plane, got the angles of it and the angle from his camera, body camera, uh, or the selfie stick. It takes himself, oh, excuse me, off the plane or out of the plane, which was dumb. This opening, you never open the door. I mean, this is just common sense. Even though me and Mike aren't CFIs, nor is this gentleman, Trevor, but for all future pilots and current, current student, future student pilots and current student pilots should know what they're searching for that only for if it's acrobatical purposes, you know, fighting whatever events where you fall out of an airplane. But in this instance, no. So that's all I pretty much have on this here. I don't know if it's reactive I mean, like I say, everybody else around the world as is, real world pilots, sim pilots, whatever, they basically community on YouTube is done their spill. And here I am doing the same. So obviously he don't mind, he's getting all the heat as is for it. Which he has to suffer and deal with, but hey, at least he's at least he's alive. I mean, that's what that does matter. He at least he's alive. But then again, what an idiot to do such. Why well, put yourself in that predicament? I mean, I don't know where this was shot at. Um, more than likely out west somewhere from what it looks like. He said it was hot out, but he uploaded this three weeks ago, this past month, December 2021. But um, yeah. Uh, I don't want to prolong it anymore. Like I said, I spoke, but I could on it. And that's it. So, once again, this will conclude Shoe Booty of the Week Award. Goes out to Sir Trevor Jacob. And you, sir, can. <laughs> Get to step in. <laughs> Sorry, I mean you. It's, that was a some foolish that you did, but don't be like this. Don't don't be like him, ladies and gentlemen. Please just don't be like him at all. From my channel, to your channel. Salute. And furthermore. He is currently under investigation by the FAA and NTSB. It was reported live on Good Morning America. I just got through watching the clip on that. It's now right there at the top. Uh, my stepfather told me about this yesterday. And yeah, he definitely probably could serve time for this um, right through the FBI. So yeah. Talk Straight Entertainment, Michael Carter Studios and Production. Oh yeah, if you enjoyed my channel, check out these channels.